If miracles existed, would chaos reign? Miracles can be defined as an extraordinary event that is not explicable by natural or scientific laws. To dig deeper into this, we must first distinguish between the miracles that for example God or Jesus performs in the biblical stories and the magic that witches or wizards perform in the fantasy stories. The magic that Harry Potter practices is still conditioned by natural laws because magic is a natural inherent force in that world. He has much in common with the scientists, since he must follow a certain protocol to achieve a result. He must utter certain precise words to cast a spell, where for example a chemist must follow a recipe with certain precise amounts of substances to create a given potion. Harry can only do this because the world he is in is equivalent to a science fiction world. God and Jesus' miracles do not follow the laws of nature, but are by definition suspensions of them. This can only happen in an extra science fiction universe. So what is extra science fiction? Is it its own genre separated from science fiction? And if so, how is it different from typical science fiction? I am to answer these questions by introducing you to the French philosopher Quentin Mayasu in his work Science Fiction and Extra Science Fiction. Extra Science Fiction or Outside Science Fiction is a relatively new concept. This new genre of literature is separated from science fiction, as the name suggests. In 2015, the Canadian philosopher Quentin Mayasu published the work Science Fiction and Extra Science Fiction, wherein he coins the term and argues that it is possible to imagine these worlds and stories that the genre produces. The basis of Mayasu's theory is David Hume's metaphysical problem known as the problem of induction. Hume argued that we cannot be sure that the laws of nature remain constant, we just assume that they do because of our experience with the regularity of the laws. But this experience is based solely on observations in the present and the past. The argument that we can predict future events based on past or present experience is according to Hume based on circular logic. Such predictions are based on the hypothesis that the laws of nature remain constant but it is precisely this hypothesis that needs to be proven. Therefore, one can only conclude that a given future event is more or less probable, but never that it will occur with certainty. The universe as created out of the sci-fi genre has been described as building a foundation on more or less fantastical thematizations of the ways of viewing the natural sciences. Mayasu subscribes to this perspective and adds, Every science fiction implicitly maintains the following axiom. In the anticipated future, it will still be possible to subject the world to a scientific knowledge, or put in more simple terms, in a science fiction world, you can always practice science. The essential and mandatory feature of science fiction stories is that regardless of what fantastical irregularities and extraordinary events that take place, these events are always subjected to a scientific logic. Even if the scientific logic of a given sci-fi story is not the same as in our universe, the story is always subjected to its own logic within that universe. In extra science fiction, on the other hand, experimental science cannot exist as the laws of nature are not constant. These are worlds where chaos reigns to a lesser or greater extent and where scientific theories for this reason are not possible to formulate since probable conclusions cannot be drawn on the basis of scientific experiments. This genre thus creates worlds that exist outside of science. But can any type of structure exist in such worlds, let alone complex conscious life forms? Meet Immanuel Kant. Among many other things, Kant is famous for formulating the doctrine of transcendental idealism. Kant challenged Hume's theory his conclusion was a definitive no. If it is possible to suspend the laws of nature in just one part of the universe, it will have an impact on the entire universe. Because of this, it would not be possible for consciousness to arise. According to Kant, consciousness cannot survive the absence of science. In fact, nothing will be able to survive this absence. A Kantian extra science fiction world is a world of complete and diverse chaos. It is implicit in Kant's theory that the creation of fictional stories within such a world would be meaningless. Mayasu's answer to Kant is, what prevents us from imagining extra science fiction worlds that are much more stable and therefore much more interesting than those described by Kant? 
Kant puts forward a probabilistic law which states that chaos is the inevitable outcome of a world with natural laws. But why would there necessarily be chaos and not order in a world without laws? Both states, as well as a combination of these, must be possible. Meyasu argues that it is possible to create three different types of extra science fiction worlds. Type 1 extra science fiction worlds. In type 1 worlds, there are irregularities in the laws of nature, but at such a low frequency that it does not affect consciousness or science in general. Everyday life would be the same as we know it, but the news would probably be populated with stories that seem extraordinary to us. Since science can exist in this type of world, it is not strictly speaking an extra science fiction world. This type of world nevertheless breaks with Kant's all-embracing chaotic world. Type 2 Extra Science Fiction Worlds in type 2 worlds, there is such a high frequency of irregularities that science is made impossible. However, awareness is still an option. The everyday life of living beings would not be deprived of any kind of consistency, but would be, on the whole, irregular and full of accidents. The chaos we see in the movie Moonfall would seem like a typical Tuesday to the type 2 world residents. Type 3 Extra Science Fiction Worlds A Type 3 world is the one Kant formulated. A world filled with a diverse chaos so encompassing that no structures can exist for any longer periods of time. But if Kant is wrong and Meyasu is right, then what is an example of a story set in an extra science fiction universe? An extra science fiction story is a rare find. I have chosen to show how the biblical universe can be seen as both a type 1 and a type 2 extra science fiction world. If you know of any other extra science fiction stories, please let me know in the comment section below. Christianity is a theistic religion. This means that the deity is seen as a conscious being who is separate from the world. The theistic god is able to make changes in the world. These changes are called miracles. As mentioned earlier, miracles can be defined as an extraordinary event that is not explicable by natural or scientific laws. The deity thus has the ability to both create the laws of nature and suspend them when miracles are performed. Therefore, the world as it is described in the Bible meets the requirements for a type 1 extra science fiction world, because here it is possible to conduct science. Likewise, the conditions are present for consciousness to exist. According to the Bible, the Christian God is an omnipotent being. The deity has the ability to perform an unlimited number of miracles. Because of this, the biblical world has the potential to be a type 2 extra science fiction world, as God may limit himself to very few miracles, and at any time may turn up the frequency significantly, so that science is no longer possible. As Meyasu argues, the absence of science will not necessarily result in the cessation of consciousness. This world has the potential to become a type 2 extra science fiction world. But in the strictest sense, it isn't that until God performs so many miracles that it becomes an everyday phenomenon. Do you know of any other stories set in an extra science fiction universe? And do you maybe even have an example of a film or a book? Then pretty please let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, I really hope you will press the like button and subscribe to the channel. And if you didn't like it, I thank you for staying with me until now. I wish you a curious rest of the day, and I'll catch you on the flip side.